Hi everyone. It's currently the Euro 2020 football championships, albeit a year late in 2021. So I thought I would make a football themed card uh, to be on topic. This is quite a fun one because it actually has um, a spinner in the middle. So as you can see, the football spins along the pitch. Here we go. And makes it a rather fun card. But it's very easy to make from these Crash You Print downloads. I'm going to show you about those in a minute. Um, there are several that I've used. Uh, this main sheet is designed by Chris Harland. It costs just 80 pence. And this is the main thing. It's got the pitch on. It's got the slider feature that you cut, uh, a couple of footballs, and uh, of course, the obligatory pint of beer. Um, I've actually scaled it down though, because this measures eight inches. And to make a card eight inches wide is, is a pretty big card but it's also a pretty big envelope and it's a pretty big slot here, which is really too big um, to hold what, uh, the football that we've got um, and the little foam pad on it. So I've actually printed it a bit smaller. Um, this is just under six inches wide. Um, I just did this um, on my printer um, and this is the one I'm going to use and um, putting it onto a six inch square card blank. Uh, the other thing I've printed out is an insert because I wanted it to have a football themed uh, inside um, and this design uh, is just 40 pence. It's by Sandra Carsey. Uh, again, it's from Crash you Print and I'll put the link down below. But this gives the inside of the card, as you'll see, a very nice football themed finish. Lovely. Um, so I'm going to put the links for those if you want to download them. Uh, I'll just mention that the actual slider card, that main piece, is 80 pence. If you're in the US and you're making this card, you can change um, the website over into dollars and it would be $1.13. Uh, you just go onto the Crash you Print site through the link uh, and click where there's a pound sign and turn it into dollars. So once you've downloaded um, those sheets, you need to save them because if you save them, you can use them over and over again. From your computer so you really get good value for money so don't forget to do that um, and when you've cut them out this is roughly what you'll have now this is my uh, I think it's just under six inches by six inches white card bank it's quite heavyweight card and one of the secrets of doing these slider or spinner cards is to use heavyweight card stock because as you can imagine if you use thin card and um, when the penny runs along it actually bends the card and it, and it doesn't run smoothly. So you really need to have strong card to support it. Um, this is 220 grams, I think, 110 pounds if you're in the US. But uh, yeah, nice and sturdy for your card. Here's what I've printed out. I've got my pitch already there. And I'm gonna put that down the middle. You've got, uh, I've already cut out the groove here, which wibble wobbles and makes the, the football go up and down, which is quite fun. And it's got some little extras as well, the beer, the football uh, and I haven't put anything on the back of that because that's going to go onto my two pennies to roll along. So starting with the pitch, I'm just going to put some glue around the edges and fix this down onto the front of the card. Closer to the bottom because I've got things to go at the top. That's looking pretty straight. There we go. Now we're going to put this right on the middle, lining up the white lines, but you'll see that I've already put some um, 3D foam tape on the back. Uh, you need to lift it off so that there's room for the penny, which runs like this, to be able to roll along. You don't want it brushing against the actual pitch. Now, because the penny's quite deep when you get a 3D foam pad on it, one level of 3D foam tape isn't actually enough. So I put two on there. I'm just going to finish this one off. So I've got one layer there, and I'm just going to put another one on top. You can buy this foam, it's uh, at uh, it's less than a quarter of an inch thick, it's quite narrow, or you can just cut down some foam tape that you might already have. As long as you leave it on the, on the backing paper, you'll be able to cut it quite easily. So there we have that. And I'll just show you. This is the 3D foam that I've got. I buy it actually on a roll like this. So I put it down onto some old backing paper and then it becomes really easy to just be able to cut it to whatever size you like and it's supported by the backing paper. So that's how I got that. So we've now got two levels on each. I'm taking off the protective paper so I've got the sticky bits and as I say lining it up on the front with those white lines 
to create my three-dimensional football pitch like that lovely so there's quite a depth in here so now we need to make the football spinner and I'm going to use two single penny coins and I'm going to sandwich them um, with a 3d foam pad like this one now this is square if you can buy round ones all the better but if you've only got square like I have then you need to just round off these sharp corners so it rolls a bit better so I'm just taking a little bit off it'll look more like a, a hexagon than a round but it will work quite well as you've seen on the one I made earlier so just take those corners off And then we're going to stick it into the centre of the first penny. Take off the other paper. And I'm lining up the second one over it and pressing it together. So that's got the little um, wheel thing that's going to roll along there. But before I put it in, I want to put the football on. So for this, I'm just cutting a little bit of um, double sided tape, just ordinary, it's not thick sticking it onto my penny and removing the backing tape, uh, backing paper, sorry. And I'm going to stick my football down. I really need to get this centered, so I'm doing it this way up so I can see what I'm doing because we don't want it to be wobbly. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, now to insert it in, you just go into the middle where there's a bit more play. Pop it up on the bottom track first and then ease the top one over it. And with a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of coaxing. Ah, it's not doing well this one. There we go. It's easing. There we go. Better. But it will run. If it's not running properly, you might just need to trim some of these edges, or you might just need to put a, a little bit of talcum powder on your 3D foam pad. It might just be that the edges are sticky and it's catching, but it'll be okay. So moving on to the top part, I want to put on, like I did on here, uh, a birthday wishes. And I've got a pot here. I bought a sheet with 28 of these on and they're all different colours. I don't know whether you can see them. So I printed out the one sheet. I cut them all up, dropped them into my pot. And now I've got them in all colours ready for whatever I want to do. So I've got a couple that are green. I'm going to use the gist for you, I think. And I'm going to glue it at the top of the pitch there. centered looking good I've cut out my um, style of beer and I've put this on 3d foam so that it stands up a bit above the sentiment like that and the other football that was on the sheet I'm going to put again on 3d foam on the other side so that's the front nicely finished and then inside as I mentioned I printed out this insert. It's a little bit smaller. You could scale it up if you wanted to, but I think it looks quite nice with the white border. So I've printed that out. I'm just going to glue it on the back. And center it down. So there you have it. Two really nice football cards that will thrill any football or soccer fan, I'm sure, especially during the Euro 2020 Championships. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.